not eat that taco. You'll contaminate a possible crime scene. Crime scene? What are you talking about, dude? Inside your tummy. I didn't eat your sandwich, dude. I'm a vegetarian. Or are you? Raven, transport me into Beast Boy's stomach. Okay. Aw, oh, oh, maybe I should have shrunk him first. <laughs> no sign of the sandwich in there. Excuse me? I can make you human again, because, you know, magic. Why didn't you ever say anything before? Come on, it would take way too long to list everything I can do with magic. We want to hear the list. Ugh, fine. Teleportation, telekinesis, flight. Read the minds of animals, see in the dark, turn water into any other liquid except for ginger ale. Summon a meteor, devour the souls of the wicked, and perfectly crack open walnuts. Wow, <sighs> walnuts are hard to open. Okay, enough yammering. I got some hot tubbing to do. Is this gonna hurt? Nope, I won't feel a thing. Ha, <laughs> and you guys say I'm not funny. But seriously, this will be extremely painful. As the Wrath Metro- <laughs> 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 The agonizing, the agonizing, the agonizing! <laughs> <sighs> Raven, you did it! I'm human again! Now, I have to warn you, your human nervous system is very sensitive compared to your robot body. All I'm hearing is hot tub, hot, 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 hot tub! This non-meat party is not a party. It's stupid and derivative. Why do you have to be so mean all the time? You guys don't even like non-meat. Of course we don't. We're just being nice to Beast Boy. So you're lying to him. That's not nice. Oh, but I do love the vegetarian chili. Ugh, if you love it so much, why don't you marry it? Marry the chili? I do love it this so much. And I could see us building the life and growing old together. What a happy, happy life we will have together, dear Chili. Oh, great. Now I have to be the mean one and explain to her why she can't marry a pot of chili. Thanks for coming out. Good to be here. Anyone from out of town? So my dad came to visit. You know what that's like, right? Hi, honey. Mind if I devour your soul? And I'm all like, can we do that after breakfast? The good thing about having a demon as my father is being immortal. The bad thing is having to deal with him for the rest of my life. <laughs> he knows what I'm talking about. So, what did you want to show me? This. What? I'm supposed to fall for you because you show me some dancing fish? Oh, look, they're so adorable. It's like a musical is about to break out. It's so romantic, I have to kiss your face. Uh... Just wait. Seriously, you guys eat like animals. <laughs> mm, oh, so good. What, Raven? Well, I guess you get a pass, but you two are disgusting. Mm, sorry. It's just Robin makes the best sandwiches. It's true. I've developed a sandwich design that will take your mouth on a flavor journey. A flavor journey worth a journey of its own. Oh, yeah. I'd crawl over a hundred miles of broken glass for this sandwich. I'd drive across the country in a car that smelled like Cyborg's B.O. for this sandwich. Ha <laughs> ha! Ain't no mountain high enough to keep me away from this sandwich. Well, yeah, I'd do some, uh, incredibly difficult stuff for that sandwich, actually. So you're saying you'd leave this tower if I told you where to find a good sandwich? Sure, but it would have to be a legendary sandwich like mine. There is an ancient sandwich of power hidden away from those who would use its power for evil. <laughs> okay, first of all, that's dumb, and you made it up. Second, even if it is true, my sandwiches are the best, period. Oh, but it is true. Behold. Ooh, is it story time? In an age long forgotten, an old king summoned his sandwich wizard. The king commanded him to create a sandwich of power. 
The sandwich wizard labored in his tower for six days. On the seventh, he brought the sandwich before the king, and it was glorious. It would grant him eternal life, so he could rule his kingdom forever. It was also delicious. <laughs> delicious? One night, the prince betrayed the king and tried to steal the sandwich. The old king was heartbroken. He realized the sandwich was too powerful. It had to be destroyed, so the ingredients were hidden away in the far corners of the world, watched by the fierce sandwich guardians. Legend says it can be reforged if all the ingredients are brought together. We got to get that sandwich. <laughs> oh, man, I want to eat it twice. The sandwich will look beautiful in my hair. No way can it top my sandwich science. What are we waiting for? Titans, go! Finally. We have to get the candy keys from Gumdrop Goblin, or we'll never make it to Princess Puffball's birthday party. Hey, Raven. Uh, I thought you were making a sandwich. We have no idea where to look. There are four ingredients. <laughs> the mystical bacon is here, on the lava lake. I got the heat resistance, baby! I'm on it! The next ingredient is the king's lettuce, buried deep underground. I can dig it. The next ingredient is the stellar tomato, hidden among the stars. I shall retrieve the tomato. <laughs> okay, let's do this. I assume you saved the most dangerous ingredient for the leader of the Titans. Oh yes, the last ingredient is pretzel bread. It can be found at the supermarket. Here's a coupon. With the candy keys, we'll be able to make Princess Puffball's birthday where all dreams come true. You rock, Butterbean. Without TV, you really notice how long every second is. Are you serious? How many more of those are there before we go to sleep? Approximately 32,000. Oh, I am not doing this 32,000 more times. All right, we need an activity to occupy our time. Let's engage in some meaningful conversation. How do you meaningfully conversate, bro? We just express our thoughts and feelings with words. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. All right. Great. Uh, I'll start. Um, <clears throat> good afternoon. These are a nice day for things. Um, <clears throat> hi. I'm a person. I know when I do things. One time? I saw. Uh, you guys, uh, remember things? So fun when we, right? Yeah. Ha! 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 We have to find a remote and watch TV! No! Don't panic, Titans! We just have to do whatever people did for fun before TV! Like a parade? Oh, I've heard of those. This? This a parade? It's just people walking! And why are the automobiles traveling so slowly? Is it deliberate to make it the boring? Don't tell me that's another marching band! It's just marching band after marching band after marching band! Whoa, look at him spin that baton. Okay, I'm over it. Man, I am super excited about Star's wedding. It's just so nice when a beautiful woman and a dashing pot of chili find true love. There's not gonna be a wedding. <gasps> Did they break up? No, Raven's just being mean again. Phew. So, Mama, you wanna be my date? I am not going to a chili wedding. Would you come if Starfire was marrying a chicken parmesan sandwich? No. What if Starfire married some soup? No. Rice and beans? You guys are starting to annoy me. Hot dogs? Last warning. Corn on la cab! Ah! Ah! Say, Beast Boy. What? You appear to have something lodged in your general ear area. Ah, oh, that's just my waxy buildup. Not that. There's something behind your ear. Huh? What's that doing in there? He pulled a coin from behind Beast Boy's ear! Do you keep the coins behind your ear, Beast Boy? No, dude, no! Never in my life! Magic! Boo. 
Why do you have to be such a heckler, Rafe? I'm not. It's just that Robin's magic is terrible. No, you hate everything. No, I don't. Hate it. Hate it. Hate it. How are you gonna put on a show, bro? Can you do a New York accent? What's it to you? And do you know anything about cars? Yeah, my grandfather was a mechanic. My two uncles were mechanics, and my father was a mechanic before he became an interdimensional demon. Great. Just follow my lead. So, Robin, are you ready to confess to your crimes? Never. Your Honor, I'd like to call one last witness. Raven. <laughs> Ms. Raven, can you tell me what this is? It's a 1971 Skyhawk. Don't forget the accent. Oh. <clears throat> it's a 1971 Skyhawk. And is there any way that this car made these tire marks? Absolutely not. <laughs> I find it hard to believe you can know that just by looking at these pictures. Would you like me to explain? Oh, I would love to hear this. Objection. This is irrelevant. Overruled. I'd like to see where this is going. There's no way a 1971 Skyhawk made those tire marks. See how they're uniform and flat? How could she tell all that just by looking at a picture? Who cares? The jury is eating this up. Look at the chemistry. This is entertaining. Only one other car had the same body, weight, and wheelbase as the Skyhawk. And that was the Enfield Hurricane. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Thank you, Raven. <laughs> no more questions. Oh, yeah! Hey, what time is it? It's non-meat party time, yo! I cannot. I am in a committed non-meat relationship. Non-meat will upset my belly. I really just want to know what time it is. Aw, and I know Raven doesn't want any. I want non-meat. Ah, you, you do? I do. If you say so, Mama. <laughs> Keep that non-meat coming. Participating in one of Beast Boy's inane activities? Why are you being so nice, Raven? I don't know! Whatever the reason, it means the world to me, Mama! Tofu in your face! Uh-oh. I know that look, Beastie. Run! Ah! Well, don't leave me hanging. Beast Boy, you're so crazy. Ah, what is happening to me? What's that, Butterbean? Princess Silky Soft needs us for an important mission. Boo, 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 yeah, 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 boo. That is right, my pretty, pretty Pegasus. I, Princess Silky Soft. <laughs> Silky! <clears throat> Yes, I, Princess Silky Soft, boo, 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 yeah, 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 boo. needs you to venture to Taffy Swamp. Boo, 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 yeah, 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 boo. What are you doing? Just practicing my booyahs. Boo, 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 yeah, 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 booyah! It's more annoying than Robin's sleep fighting. And I was able to fix that problem. Uh, why are your eyes glowing all scary like that? Booyah! Azeroth, Metreon, Zinto! What's wrong, bro? Ah! What happened to your mouth? <laughs> I can't understand a thing you're saying! She did this to you. Just doing what you guys told me to do. Fix annoying stuff with magic. How is he supposed to eat now? Oh, thanks for reminding me. Azerath, Metreon, Zinfo! It's lunchtime. What is wrong with you, Mama? I was just wondering the same thing about you, Azeroth. Metreon. Zinto! Zinto! You turned me into a balloon? How's that fixing me? Well, you can still change into animals. Any animal I want. Ooh, look, a 
poodle. But I don't want to be a poodle. <laughs> there is so much more to fix. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong, Robin? Starfire. I've lost her forever. That chili is just too awesome. It's not too late, you know. You'll help me sabotage the wedding? You don't need to sabotage anything. You just need to be yourself. But that chili is so cool. So are you. You have so much to offer. You're right. I am pretty great. Thanks, Raven. Wow, I feel good because I made him feel good. Maybe being nice isn't so bad. Hey, nice face. Thanks! <laughs> Great magic trick. <laughs> Aw, cute baby. for the delicious hot dog. Raven, flowers? Are you actually enjoying yourself? Being nice is nice. This was the best thing you've ever done for me. Oh, please. You're only saying that because of the stupid curse I put on you. No, Dad. I don't need your curse to be nice anymore. <sighs> this is not what I intended. I must remove the curse. You'll have to catch me first. Give me that curse! Oh, if it's the nice thing to do. Oh no, a reverse curse! And I'm back to normal. Now, if you don't mind, I'd appreciate if you'd never bother me again. Oh, of course, honey. You need your space. I, I, you know, I understand completely, Boo Boo Kitty. Yeah, yeah, now well, I'm being nice. How could my plan backfire so badly? Yeah, I would have told you your plan was dumb, but I couldn't because it wouldn't have been nice. That's why the world needs mean people, Dad, to keep dumb people from doing dumb things all the time. Speaking of which, I need to go. Oh, and Dad, have a nice day. We have lost half our team, and Raven still cannot open her mouth. What are we going to do? There's only one thing we can do. Meatball party! Who wants meatballs? Perhaps there is a better option. Yes. Perhaps. Can't you see? This is all your fault, sir! Clearly, that was your fault. You're going to communicate by drawing pictures? I love this game! Force, Angel. No, good. Um, is that a clock or time? Hmm. I always force you to have a good time? Booyah! I am so good! But I thought that was our thing. You pretend to hate having fun, and I force you to have it. Sometimes you just want to do your own thing. Genius! How did I put that together with just a drawing of a snake and an upside-down happy face? I have no idea. I didn't realize I made you feel this way. When I act this way, you find me super, super irritating? Oh, yeah! I'm on a roll! Don't you worry, Raven. I'm gonna make this right. Open wide. Once upon a time, a creature of darkness crawled into the world. The light hurt her eyes, so she shut all but two of them. To hide herself from the light, she wrapped herself in the cloak of darkness. The lady in the cloak made friends, a man made of tin, a princess, a hyena, and a tiny, tiny little elf. Together, they did noble deeds, and for a time, the Lady in the Cloak lived as one of them. Over time, she grew weary. Booyah, yelled the Tin Man. Train, pay attention, mandatory meetings, screeched the tiny, tiny little elf. The hyena laughed and laughed, and the princess, well, she was cool. 
but every day they grew louder and louder and louder. Until one night, she snapped! Throwing aside her cloak, Ace saw she was a monster that had been hiding among them. Her fingers became claws, her teeth razors. She opened all of her hideous eyes. Then, fast as a serpent, she ate them. One by one. What, uh, what happened to the monster? Nothing, because I'm the monster! Retreat to the tower! Retreat! So, we're going home? Cool. <laughs> I love campfire stories. Thanks for watching our video. You could hit the subscribe button if you want. I don't care. Whatever. <laughs>